Hello Dumpsterinos and Frugalistas and welcome to the video. I have some amazing dumpster finds for you. Unfortunately, we didn't film the gathering of all of this merchandise, but I have some great things to show you. So first off, we have this chair that came out of the Habitat for Humanity dumpster. It's an Ikea chair. We looked it up online. It sells for about $400, which is a lot for a chair. And yes, it has a slip cover. This is the, it's like in its underwear right now. It has a slip cover. I washed it. I'm going to put the slip cover back on. I'm very excited about it having a slip cover because upholstery just is not good for me. I need to be able to take everything off and wash it and put it back on. So I washed the slip cover as Frugal Daddy brought it home to me and the direction said not to tumble dry. So I hung it to dry and we'll see how it looks. We'll see if it's stained because it's white. So let's see if I can wrangle it back onto the chair. All right, that must be for the back cushion, given the shape. Where's the zipper? Here we go. label this is the Ektorp chair. Ektorp. But I like that it's white because it'll lighten and brighten the room as part of our uber frugal living room makeover which we are still working on. How on earth does this go on? I don't understand. This is always the confusing part. That's an arm. Which arm is that? Looks like somebody's cat already got to this a little bit, so I won't feel so bad when our cats get to it. Is there a little bit of wear there? Oh look! Someone's checking it out already! I don't even have the cushion on there yet, you silly! You're too silly! Let me get the claws right in there. Is there a zipper for this part? How do we do this? that makes me feel a little bit better about it because if it was brand new and perfectly clean we will have scratched it up and gotten it irreversibly dirty like in the next 12 hours and then I would have felt really bad about ruining a brand new chair so the fact that it's already got a little wear and tear fits into our our shabby little world quite well okay. <sighs> 
there we go. Bring our little lamp table back that Frugal Daddy loves so much. This reminds him of his childhood. Let's check it out for comfort. A pretty good chair. This is quite comfy, actually. Hey, Ector. All right, what else did Frugal Daddy find that he did not film? Pulling it out of the dumpster. We have a couple more exciting things to show you. So don't go away. Check out this bookcase, which is not gonna stay right here in the living room. He spent a dollar on this. He did not find this for free. He spent a dollar at an auction. Solid mahogany. It's also very popular with the feline crew. All right, dumpsterinos and frugalistas, we have another exciting find. At least I hope it's exciting because I don't know what's in these boxes. This is another rescue from the Habitat for Humanity dumpster, so we're going to open them up and see what the heck's in there, and hopefully it's something interesting that we can use. It's something, you can tell by that, that's a little clue. It's something we're going to have to put together, and you know how good I am at putting things together, which I'm not being sarcastic. I actually am really good at putting things together. I'm really bad at following directions, but really good at putting things together. All right, so let's see what's going on here. The boxes say Coast... Ugh! Cozy home, eco-friendly, fashion, sturdy, okay, there are commas. Eco-friendly, fashion, sturdy, quick and easy assembly. Well, I'll be the judge of quick and easy. Every time I have to do one of these types of things, I always think of the Castro convertible sofa into a bed. Like the ad they had when I was a kid where they were like, oh, it's so easy. Even a five-year-old can do it. And having had a sofa bed in the past... I can tell you, they are not easy to pull out, and they are even less easy to put back in the sofa. Anyway, all right, so we've got hearts, and there's, oh look, this is the best thing, a little mallet. I wonder if there's a mallet in every box. Order, order in the cart. I'd be such a good freaking judge. Yeah. Strain of that almost made me wet my pants. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oof, ah, it's heavy. Lots of panels or something and parts, panels and parts. There are directions. I see them now. Oof, all right, here we go. What do we need? Connectors, square doors, square panels, rectangular panels. Meh, meh, meh. Insert corner here, insert corner here, insert corner here, insert corner here, and this is what it makes. Like a little closet kind of shelf action storage cubicle. Well, that would definitely make life better, wouldn't it? Apartment okay. for cats. That would be awesome. Lay the rectangular pieces on the floor and install the connectors vertically along the corners. Okay. You lost me at round. You lost me at rectangle. <laughs> Istanbul, Constantinople. Da 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 I told Frugal Daddy he can come be part of this video, but he can't help me put this together. I want to figure this out all by myself. Why are there so many of the rectangles? I don't know. Don't even what tell me. No. Here, you want to play with that? Do you think I'm going to need that? We'll see, I guess. So that, according to this, goes like this. Okay, we're putting the bottom together with our connectors. Insert the square pieces into the bottom connectors. Wait, what? These squares have a little hole in them, so that's like a door opening thing, but is that the same? Are the squares for the back the same as that? You wouldn't need the little holes on the back, would you? No. Oh, look at that. The directions didn't even tell me this. All right, so here are the squares that must be for the back because they don't have the little hole for... Opening. Okay. I wonder if this is going to be strong enough. I don't know. To hold. I don't think it will. 
and put it in the basement and hold some of my uh, canned goods. I mean, this feels pretty strong, but I don't know if it feels like the weight of cans strong, you know, and jars from canning. Okay. Where do you think we should put these, Frugal Daddy? Where do we need I don't have big oil, storage I cubes? Oh, well, they're, I don't know. They're this big. It could be like a minimalist Barbie apartment building. It would be fun to make it a dollhouse in each room. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's for hanging stuff. You know what, this could be very useful because my closet is not big and I have trouble um, getting my shirts and things to hang nicely because there's so many jammed in there. So this would be good. Or, I know, I know, I've got it, I've got it, I've I'm on top of it. These could go in the attic because it's not stinky and gross like the basement. And then if we wanted to change out like winter clothes go up in the summer and the summer clothes come down and then switchy it. Uh -huh. I probably would never do the switch. I would put everything away and I'd wear like two outfits in the summer and two outfits in the winter because that's kind of what I do. Okay, but anyway, that would be a good use for it. Really? Do we have the heat on or something? It's very hot in here. Very, I started uh, breaking a sweat when I tried to open that box. Oh my gosh. Look at did the first one. Lisa, don't knock Look over my the, coffee. Look at the squares on the back. Oops, and a rectangle on the sides. And ooh. Ooh, a little dog nose in my ear there. All right, wait. So we have um, more panels in the back. Ah! Hold on, hold on. Is that what it says in the directions? I thought it was going to have shelves, but I'm thinking it's all about hanging. Set up the base. Lay the rectangular piece on the floor. I did that. It's all the connectors. All right, all right. I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, the cat's laying on the door. Well, now that we... Yeah, now that, kidding me. Now, uh, if we had a picnic with all of our friends, and like a hundred people came and we used these for trade, picnic trade. What hundred friends are you talking about? In what dream world do you think we have a hundred friends? Well, we probably wouldn't use very friends. many of them. Like, look. Like, like look. Like, look. Like, look. I have a door that opens now. Oh. Because we have so, so many. many kits, we could extend it and make it higher. Or have one unit that's like all hangers and one unit that's all cubby. Like, because we can Yeah, it's like a Lego thing match. where you make the yeah. basic Legos yeah. and you get all the extras to make all the good stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to be consistent with which way the design faces on the inside. Ah! Door in. Place. Not sturdy. This would be really good in the mud room like for hanging up the kids' jackets and having cubbies to put maybe like a basket of mittens and a basket of hats and some boots and stuff and have it all tucked away. Because we have issues. We have issues with the kids hanging up their coats. Wait, why do I have tape stuck to me? We are making progress now. Okay, 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 one more level up. You need to make sure you can see me putting the last piece in. Now I know you're thinking if you're going to move this to your attic, aren't you going to have to take the whole thing apart? I wouldn't be surprised if I did. But now I'm an expert at putting them together, so I'm not too concerned about that. I feel like I've used all of these that I'm supposed to, but yet I have five extra. Why do I have five extra of these? Did they give you five extra? Okay. Mm, uh, mm. Now we use brute strength to tighten everything. Okay. All right, here we go. It's all together. We've got the doors up top. We have a row of cubbies. And then for here and here, we've got the little hangers. E. See, we can hang things. See, we have room for hanging things. So we got it together, and it looks like we have about nine of these, which is pretty cool. Way to go, Frugal Daddy.
We've also got some different color combos I didn't realize. We've got this one that's black and white. All of the pieces are black with that cool, like Disney magic pattern. And then the doors would be white. And then this one has a different pattern. It kind of has a wood grain in green. Bamboo-ish. So that's nice. It fits with so many decor choices. I don't know why the cats don't just go right on top. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. This is the closest thing I could find online doing a very, very quick search for the Cozy Home Storage Cubes. This is on Overstock.com on sale for basically $108, but it's much bigger. This is a 20 cube unit size and mine is 12, but I've got nine of them. So there you go. That's the price for a bigger one. Put the little Snoopy blanket down for the animals. Try to protect it a little bit since it wasn't that easy to get the cover on. I don't want to have to wash it all the time. Cats can sleep there. Blanky, artfully draped, thusly, like that, and there we go. Look who loves the new chair. It's like she's sleeping out in the forest. <laughs>